It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to talk about the domain of a quadratic function. Here's our question. We have an object that is launched upward from a platform that is 10 meters above ground level. It reaches a maximum height of 88.4 meters above ground level in 4 seconds. The object hits the ground after a total of 8.25 seconds. We're going to let the function h of t represent the height in meters of the object above ground level t seconds after the launch. And we're asked which inequality will describe the domain of this relationship and we're given four answer choices. So let's begin by creating a model to represent this real world problem. So we know that we have an object that is launched upward from a platform 10 meters above the ground. So here's our ground, we're gonna draw it in and we're gonna go 10 meters above the ground and here's our platform. The next piece of information is we're told that it goes, the object goes a maximum height of 88.4 meters above the ground. So we're on the platform, we launch the object, and its height is going to be 88.4 meters above the ground. We're told that this happens in about four seconds, all right, in four seconds. So you know when it started from the platform, it was zero seconds, and then when it reached 88.4 meters, that four seconds had elapsed. So we have four seconds. Now we're told that the object is going to hit the ground after a total of eight 0.25 seconds. So our object continues from its highest, our maximum height, continues to the ground, and that happens in 8.25 seconds. So here, time in seconds represents our x-axis, and our y-axis is represented by meters, from 0 meters to 88.4 meters. We're asked to describe the domain. So let's clear our workspace because our domain is looking at just the time in seconds, our x-axis. So our x-axis starts at zero. The object lands on the ground at 8.25. We know that t is representing our time in seconds. t has to be greater than or equal to zero. So we're gonna flip the inequality sign to write a compound inequality and less than or equal to 8.25. And we can see that that is answer choice A, this compound inequality represents our domain or our time of the path of the object. And there you have it. That's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time.